man admitted he killed his wife and three daughters and even told them why. Meanwhile, friends are remembering the four women shot and killed Sunday in the southwest suburb. CBS 2's Andrew Ramos is outside court in Bridgeview where the accused gunman faced a judge this afternoon. Andrew. And Joe, that man, Mahar Kesem, is being held tonight without bail, accused of murdering his wife and three adult daughters in cold blood. The result of what prosecutors say was a heated argument over respect and money. The defendant stated, quote, they're all gone. They're the chilling words 63-year-old Mahar Kesem told responding officers who arrived at his family's Tinley Park home Sunday morning after he called 911 telling a dispatcher that his wife, 53-year-old Mahida Kesem, had been shot. When police asked where everyone was at, the defendant pointed in the direction of the basement. Police would find the bodies of his wife, Mahida, his 25-year-old twin daughters, Halima and Zahia, and 24-year-old daughter, Hanan. Also inside the home at the time of the shooting was their 19-year-old son, the lone witness, who was left unharmed. According to prosecutors, the teen woke up to a heated argument happening between Mahar and one of his daughters, where his wife and other two daughters were urging him to calm down, and then gunshots rang out. When witness one went downstairs to see what was going on, he observed victim one on the floor. The 19-year-old first found his mother, then two of his sisters fatally shot, and then walked in moments before his father shot the third daughter. Two guns were recovered at the scene. According to prosecutors, Kesem appeared to be disgruntled over how he was treated inside the home. The defendant was recorded volunteering things about having just retired, and that, quote, she treats me like a dog. I worked 40 years, unquote. And, quote, I worked all my life to give my family a better home, and they treat me like Meanwhile, the community continues to comfort this family who has lost so much. Hundreds gathered at the Mosque Foundation in Bridgeview for a prayer in honor of the four women killed in what police have called a senseless act of domestic violence, something they hope is addressed more within the community. It's about not only mental illness, but control and abuse. Now, funeral services for those women expected to take place later this evening, and Mahara Kesem is due back in court on February 16th. Reporting live outside Bond Court in Bridgeview, I'm Andrew Ramos, CBS 2 News. Joe and Erica. Thank you, Details Andrew. are being released after eight people were shot and killed in Joliet. The suspect found dead in Texas. Nate Rogers joins us live with details just released by police. Nate. Yeah, and Anthony, we've been in touch with the family who really are just too distraught to speak with us at this time on camera. They tell me they had the horrible task of identifying the victims to crime scene detectives late last night. We know their ages range from 14 years old to one loved one being in her 40s. Listen to the connection to the suspect. Family members tell us the suspect is believed to have killed his own mother, his aunt, three sisters, his brother and uncle, as well as a non-relative. Now, during today's update from Joliet Police, as well as Will County authorities, police now believe the suspect, 23-year-old Romeo Nance, committed the heinous murders Sunday afternoon, then jumped on the road landing in Texas. Police say Nance swapped his license plate with a stolen one before being cornered by U.S. Marshals in Natalia, Texas. Authorities say he eventually shot himself. Now, detectives went to his home here in the 2200 block of Acres Lane Monday, finding blood on the front door. Inside, two relatives were dead. Then in Inside the second family home, five others were discovered murdered as well. Unrelated to this crime scene, police say Nance then allegedly killed a 28-year-old man and shot a 42-year-old man also here in Joliet. I do believe that the, the shootings at the 2200 block were the original shootings and then the two random shootings took place shortly thereafter. We can't get inside his head. Uh, we just don't have any... Uh, any clue as to why he did what he did. And back out here live, more than 24 hours later, the street here is still cornered off by police as detectives are going in and out of the two homes that are involved. Also noteworthy, police say initially there was a four-year-old kid that lived in the same home that was unaccounted for. We've learned that that four-year-old was Nancy's son, but he was dropped off apparently at his mother's house. Um, we also told you yesterday one of the victims apparently was a corrections officer at the Joliet Treatment Center.
Center. Now, we have seen crime scene detectives out here for the last couple of hours or so. Again, neighbor's son, everyone just trying to make sense of this. Of course, we'll continue to cover this story and keep you updated on air and online. And Juliet. So, Rock Chapter 39. Verse 28 in the reads, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, for a bear, pretty much a response video. To the video, um, Elder Manasseh Zakbar did from South Carolina, mass deletion and spirits that are created for vengeance. Look, all this running in my, all that, see, pride go up before destruction and a hearty spirit before a fall. Look, look, what is it? Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous honor authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. You see what's going on. The spirits are active. We've been telling you Israelites, look, look, over and over, over and over again, starting off with the elder apostles slash elder bishops, the great millstone. I've been telling you, warning you Israelites, another warning session. Look, look, pr pretty much in the news. Every day the Lord judgment goes forth, but the unjust know of no shame. They know of no shame. Just, just a bunch of proud ass people. Pride go up before destruction and a heart to spirit before fall. Look, look, the Lord has judgment prepared stripes um, for the back of fools and scorners, man. You prideful people, yo. It's going down. You you see what's going on, man. Bear with me. What the scripture says, scripture says, look, look, wives submit, right? A woman's supposed to submit to her husband, but not over here in Babylon. Babylon, a.k.a. America, has given the women the right, you know what I'm saying, to be lawless as hell, to be rebellious as hell, to talk all kind of ish, to run her mouth, and then she calls the authority. Men, men are deprived of these sexless marriages. You, you're a fool if you get married to these Babylonian women. You, you just like men out there, you Negro, Latino, Native American, Indian men, you get married to these women up under the, the Babylonian law, up under the, the, the laws of the courts, you a damn fool, all right? You, you see it drove this man crazy. As soon as he brought his wife over here to Babylon, you know what I'm saying? Sexless marriage being disrespected at an all time. Looking at the news now, one deleted and banging outside Ghana, Walmart, at the damn Walmart, man. The love of many is waxing cold. Men are tired now. You see, the Lord putting the spirit on these men to take these rebellious women out, man. These loud, look, a silent and loving woman is a gift from the Lord. But this dude said his wife treated him like shit, man. And you pretty much, that's all you see. You pretty much see, I, I'm pretty much every damn body that I know is getting treated like shit from their damn woman, man. Crap, a crappy freaking deal, man. So we just wait on the Lord. When all hell break loose, that's the only time these women are going to submit. These women are going to submit when all hell break loose. But long as everything is peaches and cream, the stores are open, they got jobs, they got 911, they got all the laws on their side, they're not going to submit, Israelite men. But let's, but let's get the scripture, though. Colossians chapter 3. Oh, yeah, um, I work with a guy, you know what I'm saying? Um, an Israelite man, he from Mexico, right? He said everything was going fine when he, when, his, when him and his wife, you know what I'm saying, was in Mexico. Said, as soon as he brung her over here to fucking Babylon, you know what I'm saying? She turned on him, yo, and got proud. And look, she didn't want to submit anymore. She didn't want to cook anymore. She didn't want to clean anymore. She damn sure didn't want to have sex anymore, right? Only thing she wanted to do was party and have fun and go out with her family members and disrespect him. The hell with all that, man. You see, you Israelite men out there, seek the Lord, man, all right? 
Seek the Lord, man, and his righteousness, and all things shall be added, right? Let's get this. Colossians chapter 3, verse 18, and it reads, Wives, submit. Oh, oh that, that, that's a curse word right there. Ooh, that, that, that's, that's slavery right there. That's oppression when you hear the word submit, right? Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands. They're not going to do it on this side until all hell breaks loose. Then, but it's going to be too late for a whole lot of you women. This is going to be the results of a whole lot of you women, man. This right here. Bear, bear with me. This right here, flowers, you know what I'm saying, all over the grass, you know what I'm saying, a, a damn house, you know what I'm saying, riddled with shells. That's going to be the majority of you Israelite women result, man. That's going to be your fate, man. Running that damn trap. What does it say, wives, Colossians 3 and 18, wives, submit yourselves to your own husbands as it is fit in the Lord. But oh yeah, everybody believes into the, in the Bible until you read the scriptures, right? Everybody believes in the Bible, you know what I'm saying, until it's time to actually perform the laws that are written in the Bible, right? Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord, because why? That man is your Lord. It's the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, the man, the woman, then the children. But, but oh, not, not over here in Babylon. And I, and I, and I want to go right back. I want to go right back. Let's go right back to that Sirach. I just want to read into that one more time. Sirach chapter 39, let's go. The spirits that are created for vision, they're active, man. So Rock chapter 39, the Jeffrey Dahmer, Son of Sam, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. These spirits are active, man. Evils and only evils. And look, look, and we're going to see greater evils than these, right? This is Rock chapter 39, verse 28, and it reads, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, and that guy was one of them. Say, says, wife treated them like crap. This is going on, this pretty much damn near every household. Except for a couple of households, but the majority of these households over here in Babylon, the men are being treated like shit. Sexless marriages, the wife don't do shit. Oh yeah, you got to pay her to cook. You got to pay her to clean. You got to pay her for everything. These people are bugged the hell out, man. You be better off just staying single. Yo, we're not dealing with that crap, yo. You got to do all, all this, man. Sh sh see, he as soon as they look, we pay for the damn da daughters to go to college and all that. And they started treating them like shit like their mother because they, they seen what their mother did. They acted just like their damn mother, yo. And, and what happened? The Lord had, had that man take each and every last one of them out. You Israelite women better fear. You better, you better fear. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury. Leon saw a stroke. That man was furious. He was heated, man. In the time of destruction, they parted their force and appeased the wrath of him that made him. Should that be evil in the city? They, they had it coming. They had it coming. Look, look, seek the Lord. They had it coming, man. All right? Whoever perished being innocent. I don't matter if I, I want to get that right quick. Just get that right quick. You just, just, just tell you, uh, uh, man, just fed up. Job chapter 4. Let's get this. And, and who, who was the mastermind behind it all? The Lord. Job chapter 4. Verse 7 in the reads, remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, the other spirit created with Venice took out eight family members. You see, those spirits created with Venice, they're active, Israel. Let us all fear. Let us all fear Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shem, the Israelite groups breaking down the scriptures the wrong way. Do you not see what's going on? Do you not see what's going on, man? Remember, I pray thee, Job 4 and 7, remember, I pray thee, whoever perish, being innocent, who, whoever was deleted, put the deletion, put to, um, you know, to put to the, um, to the grave, being innocent. Oh, where were the righteous cut off? Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity, sin upon sin, wickedness, right? And so wickedness reap the same. You reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. Matter of fact, let's get this. I want to get this because the Lord is the mastermind behind it all. I'm bringing out a couple more scriptures, then I'm going to wrap it up. Just, just a quick little response. Deuteronomy 32. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Verse 39. The spirits created for vengeance. They're active, man. Deuteronomy 32, 39. What, 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 what did it happen? Why did it happen? Deuteronomy 32, 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. That's why that dad deleted all the women in the, in the family, you know what I'm saying, and left his son alive. It was all orchestrated by the Lord. That's the thing that you people, fl you got floods everywhere, you know what I'm saying, fires everywhere, wars everywhere, spirits created with it, but ain't nobody listening, to right? Everything's a joke, though, right? Everything's a joke till it ain't, right? Everything's funny till it ain't, right? 
Can't you see the Lord is tired? He's angry with the wicked every day, man. The Lord has a reward, man, for everybody upon the face of the earth. He judges a man according, he judges a man or a woman according to their ways, man. Let's get something else. Should there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? The, the hell with a relationship. We'll we, 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 we wait on the Lord. We'll wait on the Lord. We're not, we're not going to go through no crap like this. You see? Brothers, this, this indecent um, situations, look, look, kudos to you. But the average is like, man, we're, we're not dealing with that BS right there from a woman, man. Being treated, you working hard as hell, you know what I'm saying? You paying all the bills, you know what I'm saying? Pay for the house. That's how you know you get treated like crap inside your house, you know what I'm saying? A damn slave inside your own house. Everybody else is enjoying their house, you know what I'm saying? But where you at? In a damn man cave, in a damn basement, some damn where the hell with all that, man? That's my house. They're gonna be in a damn basement. I'm gonna be in the rest of the house. Ain't no such thing. Fuck a cave, man. You see? A man's cave where a man has to go to the damn basement of the house, you know what I'm saying? Just to get some relief, just to get some relaxation, just, just to get a peace of the mind. No. Y'all gonna be in the damn basement, and I'm gonna be in the rest of the house. This is where Babylon has, is upside down totally, man. Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13, it reads that whosoever will not seek the Lord power of Israel should be put to death. A straight up deletion, whether small or great, whether man or woman, right? Say that say the whole family treated him like crap, man. Say, say look, he retired, his woman treated him like shit. Probably was always on the internet. Always on the internet. Matter of fact, I want to, I want to get this. The internet has destroyed you women, man. Them OnlyFans, TikTok, you know what I'm saying? The internet has totally destroyed you women, man. And you men too, but mainly you women. You're the weaker vessel, man. You'll fall for anything. So the Lord got those spirits created with vintage. They're active now. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 12, and it reads, For man also knoweth not his time. As the fishes and all the rest of the family members knew what the hell was going on too. You see, all the family members knew that that woman was treating her husband like crap, and the daughters was proud as shit. Pride go up before destruction, and the heart the spirit before fall. That, that's what that's what it's gonna have to take. It's gonna have to take um vengeance, chaos, mayhem, this system to totally collapse. You know what I'm saying, in order for these women to submit, brothers, these women are not gonna submit. Long as it's water, long as it's food, long as they got nine one one. You see. As long as they got these sips out here, as long as they got OnlyFans, as long as they got TikTok, you know what I'm saying? As long as they got fake book and all this and Instagram and all this other nonsense where they get to um, pretty much um portray, you know what I'm saying, show off their whoredom, they're not gonna submit, man. All hell has to break loose, and then they're gonna, gonna submit. And it's gonna be too late for the majority of them. They're just gonna have to catch pure hell until this place is done away with, right? They're gonna have to end up in that fire, right? Ecclesiastes 9 and 12. For man also knoweth not his time. As the fishes that are taken in and eat in a net, and as the birds that are caught in a snare, so are the sons of men snared, meaning trapped up in an evil time when it falleth suddenly upon them. I bet you the women of that house, they didn't know this was going to be their last day on earth. <clears throat> They've been getting away with talking shit to this man for a long time, for years, man. So that dude was finally aggravated. He was aggravated. He was frustrated, man. And that's how it that's how it get, man. When you living with a proud ass woman, you know what I'm saying, that, that disrespects the hell out of you and you can't put her in her place. Why? Because the laws are set in place for you to shut your mouth and let her just have her way, right? She just get the does whatever. And we're not promoting um violence. We're not promoting none of that. We just bring it out the scriptures of how men are being treated in 3024. Hopefully, this is the year of Jacob's trouble, man, right? Get these proud ass people off this earth, man. Psalm 78 and 49. The Lord had to bring vengeance upon you, prideful people. Psalm chapter 78, verse 49. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and indignation, and trouble by sending evil angels among them. Little, little proud ass daughters. You see the daughters, man. This is proud as hell. You can't tell them nothing. Career orientated. Everybody's single as hell. Them daughters supposed to have been got out of that house and got married. You see? But oh, yes, all about this. Babylon has destroyed you, damn women, man. You and them damn careers, man. When a wife's supposed to submit to a man. It's, it's, what, what, let, let's, let's get a scripture right. Let's read this one more time. Psalm 78, 49. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and indignation, and trouble by sending evil angels among them. But, and, and like the scripture say, as the mother, so are the daughters, man. 
as the mother, so is the daughters, man. This is um, let's see, um, let's see, guide the house, yeah. Guide the house, Salakia. Yeah. Bear with me. I think this is it. Second Timothy, I think. Yep. Damn daughter still at home, you know what I'm saying? Trying to trying to chase her damn career. Pharmacists and shit like that. Whatever they was, still chasing a the career. They supposed to have been, if they would have been over there, you know what I'm saying, in the so-called Middle East, you know what I'm saying, on the other side of the earth, they would have been married by now, right? But of their mother, chase your career, y'all chase your career. And she was going, and the, the, his daughters, they were going to treat their husbands. As, and when, whenever they would have got married, they would have treated their husband the same way they seen their mama treat their daddy. The same shit, man. You see? First Timothy chapter five verse fourteen. I would therefore that the younger women marry, chase a career, marry, chase their goals, marry. Y'all um, get on only only fans, marry. Uh, be on Facebook taking pictures every five seconds, marry, marry, marry. I would therefore that the younger women marry, but over here in Babylon they tell the women to be whores, chase your dreams. You know what I'm saying? Ride the CC. You know what I'm saying? The damn mama, you know what I'm saying, promotes the daughter, you know what I'm saying, to mess with Tom, Dick, Harry, Larry, Curly, and Moe. Teresa, Laquisha, Aisha, you know what I'm saying? And then when you finally get, you get when you finally get tired and worn the hell out, when you're about 40 or 50 years old, 60, 70 years old, then settle down, then get married, right? Are you crazy? First 10, we'll, look, we'll wait. We'll wait. First Timothy chapter 5, verse 14, it reads, I was there for that the younger women marry, 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 marry. You see, have sex with a man, get married. Get these men in these sexless relationships, nobody ain't taking it, man. Little, little bare children. His daughter's supposed to have been married already, supposed to have had children, or he's supposed to have had grandchildren. He's supposed to have been smiling in a perfect world. But that, that's why another reason why Babylon has to be destroyed, right? Guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. Because the next verse says, because uh, some have went already at the Satan already. It, it's going down. Should there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done? I got like two more scriptures and I'm going to wrap it up. <laughs> Bear with me. Second Timothy chapter three, verse one. Look, we've been telling you, Israelites, to seek Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Seek the Lord now. He has no spirits creative events. They're active. Second Timothy chapter three, verse one. And it reads, this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come, touchy, sketchy, hairy, uncertain, touch and go. These are the times that we live in. But look, you ain't got to take my word for it. You ain't got to take my word for it. I'm bring out two more scriptures. Look, should there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Let's get this Proverbs right quick, because I'm about to wrap it up. I got one more after this, and then I'm going to wrap it up. It's going down. Your spirits that are created for vision, they are active, man. The hell with a relationship right about now. With these dildo heads, hell no, man. With these proud-ass women, only thing they care about is their damn nails, their damn hair, damn BBLs, damn tattoos, damn wigs. Come on, man. This is Proverbs 6. Proverbs chapter 6. Oh, yeah, and their damn careers and going out spending all your damn money. Proverbs chapter 6. We're living in a thought culture, man. Proverbs 6 and was it 34? Yep. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 34. And it reads, for jealousy is the rage of a man. Therefore, he will not spare in the day of of vengeance for jealousy is the rage of a man who know she was treating him like crap you know what i'm saying but she was treating everybody at the job love him. that's how these women do too though man they'll, they'll come home and treat their husband you know what i'm saying like a damn slave you know what i'm saying treat him like crappy you know what i'm saying but then at work you know what i'm saying they'll be smiling they, they'll get sexy going to work but then they come home they put on some of them old women drawers you know what i'm saying they have be toe the hell up you know what i'm saying and all that but when they go to work they'll look good for the damn um what is it a husband the, um the work husband it's all all this madness is almost over. Greater evils. I want, I want to get that right quick. Greater evils. We haven't seen nothing yet. You think you, you think eight people being deleted? You no, know, so you think a man deleting his wife and his daughters and leaving his son alive? You you think that's something? We ain't seen nothing yet, man. Greater evils. Second Ezra chapter fourteen. It'll behoove you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, to get right with the Lord. Second Ezra chapter uh, fourteen. Verse 16, and it reads, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Greater evils, Israel, for look how much more the world shall be weaker through age. So much the more shall evils, meaning bad times, increase upon them that dwell therein. And remember, 
I want to get one more. Because the Lord is the mastermind behind it all. The Lord who you ignorantly call, it's a fearful thing. It truly is a fearful thing. You reap what you sow. You Everybody is reaping what they've been sowing the whole time. Let's get that. Matter of fact, let's get Isaiah. I end it with this. Because I got the roll out anyway. This is Isaiah 45. Let's get this. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. And I'll wrap it up here. Like I said before, just a quick little response video. Uh, mass deletion and spirits created for vengeance. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, do all these things. And I'm looking at the news now. Riot police have made an arrest for the deletion, you know what I'm saying, of a man at a damn bar. It's going down, man, all throughout the night, man. Spirits that are created for vengeance. Mass deletion and spirits of vengeance. Shalom.